Oh yeah. Woo. Welcome to poster making. Teacher walkout. <laughs> So this is Hannah's poster. This is here. <laughs> okay, so that's the front side. Yes. <laughs> Show us what you. Ooh. You can't afford those anymore. Does your have a backside? No. So we are currently on the bus to the Capitol. Right now it's 8.24, so we should be maybe an hour away. Um, I originally was on the coach bus, and then they had sent another bus here, and they asked for volunteers to uh, move buses, and so I volunteered. On the coach bus, I happened to sit next to the group of students that were joining their teachers and the educators. Um, Today and then on this bus, uh, I was able to talk with the group of educators as there was a former teacher but not an LTA at an elementary school. So it's been a very interesting um, ride to the capital today. what 
the results of their underfunding has meant to real school children. Classes exploding with too many kids, a lack of books and technology, and educators that have to have to put up with two or three extra jobs just to make ends meet. And they've patted us on the head and said, keep up the good work. Now it's time for them to keep up their work. They need to go to work and they need to give us what we need. There are parents and grandparents, business community members, the faith community is here. We have people who advocate for families and children. We are not alone in this. We are all coming together. And I have been going to different places around the country representing educators. I was in West Virginia not too long ago. It is a sacrifice for you to be here. You don't want to be here. This is not a day at the beach. You shouldn't have to be here asking the people in here to do their jobs. And I know there's a whole lot of people that don't want you to be here. They would rather you be quiet and just put up with it a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit longer. They want you to know your place. And we do know our place. It is a place of honor. It is a place of courage. It is a place of power to open a child's mind. You are part of a movement that cannot be stopped. And we will not be moved from this movement. We shall not. Yeah, we're going to stand together because we do what we do every day. We make the difference for us too. I think she's trying to remember this one a lot. You know how to spoon this up? Folks, we have the greatest profession of a heart. And we're honored. We're going to be able to do what we need to do to help you work. So I'm currently in the judicial building, um, close to that capital building, and it's 11.48, so I've been outside for two hours. It's been freezing. Um, I did not come out of the dress. The last time I checked, it was by 37 degrees, and I'm wearing flats, no socks, um, gloves. Thankfully, I have a hood on. So. It's a little more bearable, but I'm taking shelter here today. I'm going have lunch, head back outside. The bus is supposed to come back around three. For the past two hours, um, it's currently 1.21. Um, I've been in this judicial center building, and I've been talking to teachers from other districts across um, Oklahoma and one of them actually gave me these little like hand warmers because I was saying how like they were talking about how they doubled up their socks and um, You know how their feet are still cold and I was like, yeah, and I'm not even um, Wearing socks and my legs are exposed and just meeting all these teachers and learning about their story and their struggles um, especially being like a first-year teacher and new to Oklahoma, new to Tulsa, um, that has been like really great. This morning there were speakers, there were students, teachers, um, the NEA, the National Education Association um, president or leader um, spoke, there was like a pastor who spoke and so I've probably missed a couple of speakers since I've been here. Um, but for being my first rally, for being my first teacher um, walkout, this has been a pretty um, eye-opening experience. Um, and coming alone especially, I think, uh, really pushed me to talk to other people um, and just listen. Because I think if I were with my group of um, friends, or if I was with other teachers from my school, I think I would just, you know, stay in that and rely on them. But I think because I'm alone, I'm more open to talking to strangers. And so I think that has been a plus. Hello.
which is a fast food chain um, that's known for their chicken. It's really good. Um, and so today, they actually have a free meal for teachers. Um, and I expect it to be super busy because right now it's about 5.30. I guess it's early, but I get hungry around this time. And it's actually quite empty. Thank you so much. <sighs> Here it is, with the crinkle fries, the bread, the chicken, and the Zaxby sauce.